Hello and welcome to a brief overview of the SWOT analysis. Before we get going, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel so we can grow it. And if you find it useful, please share it with your friends. So what is a SWOT analysis? Very basically, a SWOT analysis is an overview of you, you as a company and where you fit in the bigger marketing environment. So it looks at your internal factors and your external factors. And we look at the positives and negatives, hence the little plus and minuses. So if it's an internal positive, it's a strength. If it's an internal negative, that's a weakness. If it's an external positive, that's an opportunity. And if it's an external negative, that's a threat. This is where some people do it wrong. A SWOT analysis encompasses all these other models. It's kind of a, a conclusionary model or a meta-analysis, if you will. Okay, so the, the one on the top far left there, the Ansos matrix, that would simply be an internal thing. So that's where some positives or negatives come from. Your business model canvas on the second to the left there, same again. It's an internal model, so that's where some strengths or weaknesses. You could have marketing four Ps, internal model, so it creates strengths and weaknesses. Your McKinsey's seven S's, internal analysis, so it creates you know your positives and negatives. Your macro environment, such as your pest, is external, so your pest will create your positive your opportunities and your threats because it's an external positives and negatives. Your port has five forces, once again, external because it's a micro analysis, so that creates your opportunities and threats. Your position map. On the left hand side there you know is once again external so it's how you compete with your competitors so therefore it's either positives or negatives and then finally again compet competency analysis or gap analysis as it's sometimes called same again is an external model so it can bring you strengths and weaknesses so as i said a swap encompasses all of those models if you don't know any of those models there are videos linked on my youtube channel so all of those models highlighted there and remember as well, research is key. You need to research every. So it's not what you think are positives and negatives, both internally and externally. It's what you've researched are positives and negatives internally and externally. Why do we do it simply? Triangulation. You've got to know where you are to know where you're going. OK, so doing a very good, re well researched swap of both your internal and your external factors will help you know exactly where you are right now as a company so that you know exactly where you need to be going. As I said, guys, if you've got this far and you, you know you enjoyed the video, please do like it and subscribe to the channel so I can grow it. Let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you'd like me to do. And as always, share with your friends to you know share the knowledge. See you on the next video, guys.